This is 18 News at 6. Filing criminal complaints because she has on taped uh, confessions admitted that she lied. She lied to federal officials in the forms and the documentation that she was submitting. Congressman Tom Reed and other Republicans now calling for the resignation of both Governor Cuomo and his aide. After new allegations, his administration covered up the true death toll of New York's nursing home residents in the wake of the coronavirus pandemic. Good evening, everyone. I'm Zach Wheeler. And I'm Jordan Orcas. Thank you for joining us for 18 News at 6. Both the governor and his top aide, Melissa DeRosa, are under fire tonight after it was revealed the administration purposely hid information regarding the death toll in New York State nursing homes. Now, DeRosa says the administration took months to release data because officials froze over worries the information was going to be used against them. Also tonight, progressive Democrats are also calling uh, for more transparency in the wake of this. Our Capitol correspondent, Karina Capabianca, has been covering this all day, and she joins us now live. Live with the latest. Karina, good evening. Well, Republicans are calling for a DOJ investigation and a state attorney general investigation into the matter. And for months now, they've been calling for the legislature to revoke the governor's emergency powers. Now, several Democrats are also calling for the removal of those powers. Everyone involved has to be held accountable investigated and prosecuted if necessary. Senate Republican leader Rob Orr is calling for a full investigation into the Cuomo administration's handling on COVID-19 nursing home policies and data. On Wednesday, administration officials held a meeting on the issue with Democrat committee chairs. The New York Post first reported that in that meeting, Secretary to the Governor Melissa DeRosa said after a DOJ letter came in August, quote, basically we froze because then we were in a position where we weren't sure if what we were going to give to the Department of Justice or what we give to you guys, what we start saying was going to be used against us while we weren't sure if there was going to be an investigation. It was later confirmed in a partial transcript released by the administration. Today, DeRosa said, I was explaining that when we received the DOJ inquiry, we needed to temporarily set aside the legislature's request to deal with the federal request first. Senate Majority Leader Andrea Stewart Cousin said, crucial information should never be withheld from entities that are empowered to pursue oversight, and noted her conference is discussing next steps. Meanwhile, Republican Congressman Tom Tom Reed had this to say during an Empire State Weekly taping. We're going to be filing criminal complaints because she has on taped uh, confessions admitted that she lied. While state Republicans have continued to push for the governor's emergency powers to be removed for months, more Democrats are now on board. In a joint statement, 14 of them said it is clear that the expanded emergency powers granted to the governor are no longer appropriate. And those emergency powers were granted last March. They're due to expire on April 30th, but those Democrat lawmakers say that they should be removed as quickly as possible. Reporting live at the state capitol, Karina Capabianca, 